Hi, now this is a very quick tutorial about how to install AWS CLI version 1 with Python 3. Because uh, AWS has announced the end of support for Python 2.7 uh, for both AWS SDK as well as for AWS CLI. Now in this blog, uh, if you are already using AWS CLI version 2, you don't have to do anything really. But if you are using AWS CLI version 1, then you need to upgrade your Python version to 3 point something. So if you're using Microsoft, you can use the MSI installer. Uh, or if you're on Mac, just like I am right now, uh, you can use pip installation. Now in this uh, Mac, it's a brand new Mac. Uh, I don't have AWS installed, the CLI installed. And the Python version right now is Python 2.7. So uh, I can go to this uh, instruction page on how to install CLI version 1. I'll put the link in the description. And as you can see, Python 3 version or 3.6 or later is a prerequisite for uh, CLI version 1. And uh, you can uh, quickly go to Python website and download it. And here in the uh, blog post itself, uh, I can click here and then open up uh, Python. And there you can uh, simply download it. You can download uh, Python version, the latest one. Here it's 3.9. And then first you need to install it. So go through this uh, setup and then just install it. So that's installed. Close this down. All right. Then I will uh, go ahead and uh, open the terminal. So this is the terminal. And as I previously showed, uh, I don't have AWS CLI installed. And if I just check the Python uh, version. So it's Python 2.7 right now. Now in the installation guide, I can try to install it using the macOS uh, bundler installer. And here I will just uh, copy this command and come here into my terminal and paste it and enter it. So it's going to download AWS CLI bundler zip and then try to install. Now, while it is installing, I get an error message. The Python version is not supported. So that's where I need to use Python 3.6 or later. So instead of using the bundler, I'm going to use pip for installing AWS CLI. If you scroll a little bit down here, you should see a section install and update uh, CLI version 1 using pip. Now, in order to do that, first we need to install pip if we already don't have it. So there are commands you can easily copy it. And let me clear the screen and paste. So that will install pip. Okay, done. And I'll just uh, follow the instructions. All right. And now I can use pip to install AWS CLI. So in order to do that, I will use this command. Now pip3 install AWS CLI. Let me come here, paste it, and hit enter. All right, then they say type AWS dash dash version and make sure it is installed. Let me clear the screen first and do that. But I still get the uh, error command not found from my Z shell. Now this is because we don't have the AWS binary in our command line uh, path. Now uh, the shell that I'm using is uh, Z shell. It could be bash for you or Z shell. You can actually check that if you do echo shell. As you can see, I am using Z shell here. So let's go ahead and add our AWS CLI to our command line path. Now in this section, first we need to check where our Python 3.6 or later version is installed. So in order to do that, I can use which command, which Python. Now if I just do which Python, this will point to uh, where the Python 2.7 is installed. But if I do which Python 3, now this is exactly where our Python 3, the newly installed version, is available. 
Now, when we use pip3 and install programs, that's going to put all those programs into this location. There is library, Python, and whatever the Python version, and bin, and then uh, the program. So let's quickly check that. If I go to cd, library, Python, and I'll do a list. So I have 3.9, so 3.9, and then I can see the bin folder. So let me go to cd bin. If I do a listing directory, I can see my AWS is installed in it. So let's see the path that we are right now, present working directory. So this is the path that we need to add it to our command line path. So let me just quickly copy this one and I'll clear the screen. And now I need to open the RC file for Z shell, or if you're using bash, it will be bash profile. So I can do that if I do open dot zhhrc and I get the message this file doesn't exit. So I need to create it. Now, if you are using bash, then you can do bash profile underscore profile. So I don't have that either. But since uh, I use uh, Zisha, let's go ahead and create this file. So I'll do touch and I'll create this file in this location. Okay, now I try to open it again. This time it opens. So this is an empty file. So now we need to add the uh, path that we previously copied to the current path. So let me just uh, copy this one and come into the RC file and paste it. Now instead of uh, local bin, I will add that library path. It is not in my clipboard, but I added it to my notepad. All right, so I export path and add that library python 3.9 slash bin to the current path. And I save it and then I'll go back to the terminal and I'll do source z shell rc file. And this command will load the configuration we changed to the current terminal session. So now if I do AWS dash dash version, I should see the version prints out. Okay, so now you know how to install AWS CLI version one with uh, Python 3.6 or uh, later versions. Now let me go one more step and uh, show you how to configure an AWS IAM user with your AWS CLI. Now for that, I went into AWS console and I went to AWS IAM service. And there I don't have any users at the moment. I'll go to users, add a user. I just call this user temp user. Because so I'm going to delete this user just after this. Add the programmatic access. And I'll add these users to administrator group or with administrator privileges really review and create the user. And when I create the user, I get the access key ID and the secret access key ID. So I'll copy the access key ID and come back to my terminal. And now I'll do AWS configure. Now I will add the AWS access key ID here, hit enter. Then I'll uh, get the secret key, copy and then paste it and the region I will keep the default all right so now our terminal is all configured to uh, interact with AWS through the AWS CLI let me run one command AWS S3 LS and that should list all my S3 buckets there we go I have a bunch of S3 bucket in this account and one last thing, if you want to see where this uh, access key ID and the secret access key uh, get saved, you can do open and open this .aws uh, file and then you should see 
these two configuration files, the config and the credential. Now if I open uh, credentials files with let's say text edit and then you should see the access key ID we configured and also the secret key uh, we configured. Alright guys, so that is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a new video.